Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video, let us see how to save a GeoGebra file and use it in classroom teaching. That is use it whenever you are teaching something through PowerPoint presentation in the class by taking a lesson. For that, I will take a very simple uh, GeoGebra file I will make. I will take a slider. Okay, let me take integers. Let it start from uh, 3. Let it go up to 10 and I will just make it as uh, OK. Now this is I have taken uh, one uh, slider which goes from 3 to 10. OK, let me keep this slider over here. I am going to show you regular polygon to the children. <coughs> regular polygon. Now you can go to this option first uh, and you can go for labeling of new points only and uh, you can go for regular polygons. Uh, this regular polygon when you touch this A will be there. This you are fixing the length of the side of the regular polygon. Automatically it will ask how many vertices you want. If you give 4 it will give a square. If you give 3 it will give a equilateral triangle. If you type 5 it will give you regular pentagon. <coughs> but I will type small n and I will keep it as ok. Now what is the advantage over here? In a single click I am showing all the polygons to the children. Now when you move this, you will get a square, pentagon, hexagon and so on up to 10. Ok. Now this one uh, sheet I have made so that I can show to the children and by doing animation also I can show them that how when the number of sides, we can ask the child that when the number of sides is uh, 6, what is the name, when the num number is 7, what is the name, when number 8, what is the name and we can ask so many questions on this. Okay, well, let me stop this. Let me show you how to save this file. Here, GeoGebra, GeoGebra, whenever you are starting it, when you save it only, this particular file will be saved. When you close it, it will ask you whether you want to save it. When you close this file after every uh, part is over, it will ask you whether you want to uh, save it or not. Okay, here also you can have the saving. And always from go to this file, go to this save. I am doing it in GeoGebra Classic 5. Save. Automatically, it will ask you where you want to save. You have to fix the location. Suppose you can open a folder of GeoGebra file in any of your uh, drive. I will uh, show you, I am just want to show you to how to save it in desktop, I will save. But you can save it in any folder of your choice. I have to give a name to it. Uh, I will give a regular polygon. Okay. And I will save it. Now you see regular polygon name has come over here. When I close it, now this regular polygon has come over here in the desktop. But when I open it, automatically the GeoGebra file which I have made just now, it will open. Now you can show it to the children. Now it, you can readily you can show it to the children now. But remember, one thing you have to be very careful. Whenever you uh, just uh, close it, it will ask you whether to save it. When you save it, then it will automatically it is saved. Okay, well. Now, the thing is very important thing is, now when you open this regular polygon in this computer where I am working now, it opens in GeoGebra because GeoGebra is loaded. Suppose if you take this file, copy it in a pen drive or take it to your classroom situation where you are want to show it in any other computer, remember that in that computer also GeoGebra is to be loaded. Otherwise, you cannot open this file there. It will not get open. Because this is called .ggb extension file, it will not get open. But how to check it? This GeoGebra, whenever any file you are opening, I am just showing it over here to you, this icon will come. Otherwise, if this icon is not coming, remember that GeoGebra is not loaded in the computer in which you are trying to open. Well, now, how to show it to the children along with your classroom situation? That is, whenever you are taking the class using a PowerPoint presentation, I have taken a PowerPoint presentation over here. Here I have explained the regular polygon definition. After the definition is over, you want to show this regular polygon to the children. From this PPT, you can directly show the file and if you close the file, you can come back to the PPT without uh, closing this PPT. Go to this insert, go to this uh, shapes. I think you might have used these shapes uh, in so many question papers and all. Come down, you are having this action button. In this action button, so many action buttons are there. but uh, the nature of all the action buttons are same, but here I want to show a document to them. Therefore, I am selecting this icon, select it and put it over here. Immediately it will ask what is the hyperlink. 
go to this hyperlink then you are going to connect it to the other file therefore click this other file when you click it automatically it will ask which file to be opened i think i know it where it is it is in the desktop it is regular polygons i click okay okay then again click okay now it is ready now i am uh, opening it and showing to you what actually happened there you are showing to the children and animations and all you are showing when you click this automatically the okay okay if you do it then the geogebra file which i want to show it to the children opens for now you can have some kind of uh, explanation to the children you can ask the children to come and check it out and then when you close it and you just save it and then close automatically you will come back to that powerpoint presentation now one more thing is there there is one more option called uh, save as also in that geogebra uh, option when you just open any geogebra file there is one more option called save as you see there is one more option called save as when you are saving it the same file can be saved in some other place also in some other name also is it okay now the same file can be exported in the web page also you can export it to the web page for that you need a, a username and password okay now thank you friends for watching